Hello, greetings of the day. I am Swati, your host for today. Welcome you all in yet another exciting episode of DYP Akudi Talk Show. Let's educate to elevate. With the spread of COVID-19 this year, life has come to a point where everything was standstill. We were confused and had fear in our mind. But there were few people who fought, who stood for betterment of humans, for betterment of mankind. Who were these people? They were doctors, nurses and pharmacists and to whom we call COVID warriors. Our today's guest is also from the same fraternity. Our today's guest, Dr. Sanjeev Deshpande is associated with pharmaceutical education for last 30 years. He has a rich research experience. So let's welcome our today's guest, Dr. S. V. Deshpande. Welcome, sir. We are very fortunate to have you today with us. Sir, with the spread of COVID-19 this year, education or pharmaceutical education has come into boom. In such a situation, what can be the significance of diploma pharmacy course in education? Yes, to start with this question, let me tell you, as uh, we are in the post-COVID era, and it is said that uh, in every adverse situation, there is an opportunity. It's a two-year course after 12 science, which is approved by All India Council for Technical Education, Pharmacy Council of India, as well as DT. And Diploma Pharmacy course, which is affiliated to Maharashtra State Board of Technical Education, in short, it is also called as MSBT Mumbai. So, in the today's scenario, we are concerning about the outcome-based education. And in that case, it's a immediate outcome-based educational branch. And that's why the most of the students in the recent past we have observed, which is very popular in the urban areas as well as rural areas. So that is one reason. Another, it serves the purpose of the hospital and community pharmacist. Then most students, they are opting for higher education. That means Bachelor of Pharmacy, UG course, once they complete Diploma Pharmacy uh, as a curriculum. Also, most of the times, it is observed that they got ample opportunity in production, in the pharmaceutical industry and marketing as their one of the livelihood. So that means it is becoming very popular for uh, our craze of diploma pharmacy course in the minds of students. Yes, sir. Definitely. So, when this course gives a lot of opportunity for uh, in production industry or being an entrepreneur, what is the eligibility criteria for a student who wish to or who wish to seek admission in diploma pharmacy? What is the basic eligibility criteria? Yes. So, it is a good question because there is a uh, always confusion in the student's mind that what is the eligibility for diploma pharmacy and bachelor of pharmacy. So, yes. let me clear. For diploma course in pharmacy, candidate must be of Indian origin. He or she must complete, qualify the 12 science examination with physics and chemistry as compulsory subjects and biology or mathematics as one of the subjects. Out of the Maharashtra state, we call them as OMS candidates. They are also having opportunity to take the admission in our diploma course in pharmacy. That means Maharashtra state anywhere in the institutional quota. That means they have also an opportunity to get admission, enter into the diploma pharmacy scenario. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, for a student uh, who is uh, going for UG or who is uh, searching for a job in a pharmaceutical industry, yes. what are the skills that student needs to equip or develop during the due course of this pharmacy? Yes. It is observed that uh, the education pattern is also changing yes. rapidly yes. and students are uh, not of the old times that to open the books all the time, theoretical study, it yes. is not happening. They are very much eager and enthusiastic to learn from their own yes. practices themselves. So, lots of skills to be undertaken by them in these two years. First of all, there is a enough knowledge of the drugs and cosmetics how they are prepared, what are the different forms, dosage forms, how they are manufactured and uh, preparations, their practice as well as how they are marketed by opting the retail pharmacist job. As well as 
the knowledge of pharmaceutical chemistry as well as biochemistry what we can say and in a small microbiology also help them to get an idea how the drug molecule acts what are the mode of actions what are the usefulness of that particular drug and in all what are the adverse effects that they need to study so all and all it's a skill based learning diploma pharmacy give them enough opportunity to get the get an idea about the drug molecules their actions and their adverse reactions yes sir sir uh, when you were explaining this uh, you spoke about cosmetic industry you spoke about drug industry you spoke about production industry yes. so what are those all job opportunities that a student has after completing his diploma in pharmacy yes there are uh, various job opportunities earlier it is uh, thought that only retail pharmacy shop which is the only option but uh, the scenario has been changed yes. nowadays and the students are well placed in the pharmaceutical industry as a um, production trainee trainee pharmacist apprentice trainee there are good number of multi specialty hospitals are coming up not only in the city area urban areas but in the uh, rural areas we are also uh, observing the things yes. and pharmacist has got tremendous opportunity so far as the jobs are concerned in some cases the students get help through their campus placement sale yes. corporate training offices how to appear for the interview and what sort of the soft skills they need to have when they appear for the interview that helps them a lot to get themselves job oriented job fit in various pharmaceutical industries and other organizations also yes definitely sir uh, sir as you spoke about the skills required by students and job opportunities available in the market in the industry how you at dr d y patel institute of pharmacy akurdi help students to acquire these skills and have their dream jobs yes definitely always it is very important to give the quality education to the students yes. so i am working as a principal in dr d y patel institute of pharmacy and uh, in this total uh, in this profession i have been associated for last 30 years or so and we have been trying to give not only the educational training but the practice of pharmacy how the retail shop is to be handled okay how the wholesale business is to be undertaken mm -hmm. and another important virtues in as far as the academics are concerned average 2 to 3 students of our institute always every year appear in the merit list wow. and that is a another uh, uh, moment of proud for uh, our institute yes definitely last year we have received the grant of uh, rupees 1 lakh 30000 to conduct the state level pharmacy quiz competition and another important thing that our student team emerged as a winner in that uh, quiz competition so if this is this sort of the outcome we are getting we also feel very satisfied and that our students are performing well then uh, as per uh, the current uh, educational uh, standards we have been receiving very good remark in the external academic monitoring committee of msbt as our established uh, institute is established in 2003 completing 17 years this year there are so many students they have completed their diploma course then they went on to complete the bachelor of pharmacy course in other institutes yes. as well as pg and there are few students now uh, last year only one has visited he has completed his phd in university of bonn germany wow. so these are the very much significant things that uh, we all are all are observing uh and we say back to our institutional merits these are the things i can say proudly and i am uh, honored that the students are achieving the success yes i must congratulate you your team your students for all these laureates that are in the cap of your college yeah thank you sir thank you so much for joining us definitely yes. our viewers are satisfied with their queries pertaining to pharmaceutical education 
Thank you so much. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. With this thoughtful discussion, I am sure that all your queries, doubt related to pharmaceutical education are clear. Indeed, it was a nice and thorough discussion pertaining to eligibility criteria and all the processes, job opportunities that are available in the industry and our today's guest enlightened upon all those opportunities. For today, I am Swati, I am taking your leave from this desk, we will definitely meet with another exciting episode very soon. Till the time, take care, bye-bye.